Hi, Dr. Watson here, and in this video we're going to show you how to add titles and transitions in Camtasia. The version I'm using for Mac of Camtasia is Camtasia 2. Chances are you have a more up-to-date version of it, but they all work very, fairly similarly. So first thing first, um, let's get some uh, clips into Camtasia. Uh, then we'll add the titles and the transitions. I have an opening sequence uh, clip. I'm going to drag that into this uh, media area and then I have a scene. It's a Bruce Lee Kung Fu scene. Now uh, first we just drag these clips down into our timeline and I got my opening and then I'm going to drag my um, uh, clip of the Kung Fu. So you can see the opening has you know Watson Productions. I'm going to resize that so it takes up the full screen and then when the um, the movie starts that that is already full screen so we're all set all right um, maybe the first thing I want to do is have a fade in so I'm going to go to transitions fade in and drag that right at the beginning of my um, opening sequence and let's see what that sounds like okay maybe right here though I want to insert a title so I'm going to drag my clip over use annotations and just drag a title right here I'm going to type into the title. Let's put the playhead on top of that. Type into the title. Let's call it Bruce Lee in action and resize this so it takes up you know a lot more um, of the screen and let's say we're gonna have that go for what do we got here a few seconds. Um, let's say halfway into that though I want to have another um, annotation so I'm gonna drag in one more and we're gonna make this other one say um, it down here it's going to say a what a Scott Watson production and let me make that wider here um, I'd also like to make this a different color just because I want to show you okay I'm going to drag this down a little bit and um, select the text hit this gear here I'm going to change the color to um, red and I'm going to change the style to an italics um, actually, it's still a little larger than I want it, so I'm going to shrink it too. Okay, now, and I can control how long uh, that appears down below. So the way I have it now starting is that we'll have our opening sequence fade in, a Watson Productions, right? Then we'll have the title, but halfway through that you're going to see a Scott Watson production. If I'd like that Scott Watson, let me um, zoom out a little bit. If I'd like that Scott Watson production to fade in, I'll just use transitions fade in so that it doesn't um, just pop open, but it gradually comes open. Okay, now at this point, I'd like to have um, all of that fade out. Notice I overlap these two clips here. Uh, my Kung Fu clip is going to be fading in. Um, so I'm going to put a fade in at the beginning of that. But I'm going to have the other ones fade out. Just drag them. And if they fade out too long, I can change how long it takes to fade out. So this will effect, effectively be like a cross dissolve um, into the scene. And right, let's see how that looks. So there's the title. And then cross dissolve into the Kung Fu scene. Okay. Also, if I want to edit the Kung Fu scene, let me f zoom out a little bit. This is a pretty long scene um, that I downloaded from the internet. Um, I'm going to just take the end of this scene and drag it way, way back so that it's only approximately a minute long, say. And then I'd like to put a closing title. So let me go back to animations. I'm sorry, annotations. Um, put a title here. And let's make this t closing title just say the end. We'll make it real simple. The end. But make it big. Let's make it nice and big here. The end. Put it in the center. Um, let's say I want to have that title um, cross dissolve. So I'll do a fade in. Transition fade in there. At the same time as we're fading out. Uh, fade out. Okay. And that'll be like a fade to black. Let me zoom in a little bit here. Yeah, so you're going to be able to see that as the one fades out, as the, um, let's make it a longer fade. Okay, as the, the Kung Fu scene goes to black, okay, then we get the end. And maybe I'll have pop that a little bit earlier, drag it a little bit earlier, have it take a little longer to fade in. And then let's have that also fade to black at the end. Okay, so what I did was I added um, two clips, titles in between, 
titles using um, Camtasia's annotations. And there's all sorts of other you know, really fun things you could have done. I, I, I went kind of basic here. Here's a bar along the bottom. Um, could have been that too. And um, then transitions, I use the fade in, fade out um, for things like dissolves, cross dissolves. Now there's so many other features in Camtasia that I could have used, but um, that's sort of beyond the scope of this video. All right, now I'm ready to share and I'm going to just say export and going to give this title, let's call it um, Bruce Lee in action. Um, and I'll just export it and the exports happening right now. The idea is then that I would be able to use this video with its titles and transitions um, in a music software like GarageBand, a digital audio workstation, where I could add, um, I could edit pre-existing music you know, find some recordings that I like that I think would work well and, and edit that as underscoring. Or I could even compose or arrange my own music um, in GarageBand or in whatever, you know, Pro Tools, whatever DAW you're using. So that's the ultimate goal. All right, it looks like it's about done. So let's go out to the desktop. And here is the um, Bruce Lee in action uh, clip. I'm gonna open it up in QuickTime so you can see all the stuff that we just did. There's my opening sequence. And there's the crossfade to the title we added. And then there's the second uh, title, Scott Watson Production, crossfade into the scene. And just for the sake of time, I'm gonna fast forward to the, uh, close to the end and you can see the fade out and the end. And then hopefully a fade to black. And there it is, fade to black. Okay, so now I've got my movie done. Have fun.